everyone. Today, I just want to go back to my past memory about exchange program in the university. When I was a university student, I successfully could join exchange program. That's why I went to the US for 10 months. I, can, I could spend the time in two semesters. But the exchange program it was a little bit different from some uh, seminars or some program for learning English. So to apply for exchange program, only one or two students could join per year. And then I had to get some specific scores for TOEFL. And then also I have to pass the interview. And actually, uh, I got this like certain a uh, specific score as the last chance I finally could do it and then luckily I could go to North Carolina State University so for exchange program uh, I didn't have to take any courses for learning English itself so j just after I went to the US I could take any classes I want then in the US, normally for universities, uh, they have some levels which is from 100 to 400, I think. And then normally for first year, and a sophomore student will take uh, 100 and then 200 classes because this is really for introduction, and then they can decide whatever they want to change their majors or they just go to their specific major. And then from third grade and then fourth grade, they just specialize on their majors so normally for students in the US they have to choose their major and minors as well so when I went to the US I decided to take 100 or 200 maximum because above 300 which is so specified and I didn't think I could do it because the based on 100 and 200 classes then they could do the 300 and 400 one of the huge difference between Japanese university, I mean like English literature uh, university and the US university is that uh, I had so much homework to do, so many projects, so many discussion and so many tests. And then I had to think about it. So for me, for my case, I didn't have to talk a lot in Japan. I just was sitting and then listening what professor said. Sometimes I did homework. But in the US, all the classes need integration between professor and students. And a professor always asks the opinion or always asks us to think about the topic. And then we have to presentations. Which is the one of the biggest difference I thought. And in my university, all the classes were same, like uh, one hour and half, one and a half hour per class. And then I only have one class per week. I mean, like one course, only have the one class per week in Japan. But in the US, it really depends on classes. So one course is okay. So I think they, I had like three hours per week. This is the same, but it depends on classes how they split out. So some classes, like I only have one class per week, but it was three hour classes. But the another one is, it's only 60 minutes per class, but I have three times per week. Then the last one, I think it was like 75 minutes per class but I had two times per week so it really depends on classes so first of all I think if my memory is still here I thought I took public speaking and interpersonal skills and this is like a non-profit intro introduction for a non-profit organization or something. And then I also tried the global politics class, which was really, really hard for me. But interpersonal communications and public speaking is not that difficult. But 
、uh, as you can see, I have to give the presentation in front of the classmates. Then all the classmates in the Americans, they are native speaker of English. So sometimes I was very nervous, but uh, uh, for my memory, as my memory, all the classmates were so kind to me,、uh, professor as well. So every time I asked questions, they were so kind, they helped me a lot. And then sometimes, because I took notes, sometimes my classmates asked me to look at my notes because they didn't take it. <laughs> And then sometimes they didn't do homework, so they asked me the answers because I always did it. So we just help each other. This is such a good memory of me. But about the reading and the homework I mentioned, oh,、well, that was so hard because per class, so I think I took four or five classes per semester, and each class I have to read. At least 100, 100 pages per week. So, this is like a pre reading or sometimes homework. So, oh, the textbook was so expensive and it's so thick. I got this kind of textbook and I have to read more than 100 pages per week per class, which means I have to read 400. Pages per week, and then we also have a test, small exam, quiz, a project, and presentations. So I always went to the library. So, yeah, I think the library was my second house for me. <laughs> Because, because I live in an international dorm with my American roomie. But、uh, in my room, I really could not focus on the homework and the reading because I'm always happy to do like, Facebook and texting. That's why I decided to go to the library. But I, I think I spend like four and five hours per day. So today, I just introduced how w a s the classes in the US. As my memory of exchange program. So, I think in next video, I more like I could explain the fun things like clubbing or Halloween, Christmas, something like it, some, something special events really you ask. Yeah, so if anyone are interested in some exchange program,、uh, that could be helpful. But、uh, please remind that you have to read many, many, many things. Thank you for watching. Bye.